welcome back to my channel my name is Darna Anita and I do talk about lifestyle travel and fashion and if this is your first time welcome and if not welcome back but today's video is all about my makeup what I wear what I do go out on a date with hubby um, and it is uh, makeup that um, that is very light I don't like to wear a lot of heavy makeup I just like to wear makeup that will enhance um, my beauty but um, I will have everything linked at the bottom for you. Now, um, I will be narrating uh, the video. I'm going to try to fast speed um, so it won't take so long. You really don't take nothing but 10 minutes to do. Um, so um, I hope you guys enjoy it. Now, don't forget to subscribe. Don't forget to like and leave me a comment if this is a makeup look that you will love to wear um, when you do go out on your date or on your everyday um, look to work or etc and uh, one more thing happy holidays to you Merry Christmas Happy New Year and let's go ahead and get going with this video all right guys so the first thing I like to do when I'm putting on my makeup is to do my eyebrows your eyebrows must look good so what I do I use this simple kit that I get at the beauty supply store I first start off with the cream so it can go on smoothly and then follow, follow off with using the powder make sure any type of powder that you use in your eyebrows does match your hair color All right, so this next step is the concealer. I use this um, to help line them to look, to look them look somewhat perfect. Um, this is a brand from Ulta Beauty. Um, I do purchase at least 80% of my products from Ulta. I do love their products. They're very reasonable, and it's the same as if you're getting the most expensive brand. Um, I will have this linked at the bottom for you. I think this shade is the Deep Tan. Now once you see me doing that I am blending in the concealer so my eyeshadow can go on smooth. A lot of people use an eyeshadow primer. If you use a concealer over your eyes that will benefit it as well. So the next step is putting on the eyeshadow. If you see that these colors are earth tone colors, earth tone colors are good for all seasons. Um, it can go good with all types of colors uh, on your outfit. Now, if you're looking to get the big buck of your money, my suggestion would be to purchase a palette that has earth tone colors. All right, so this step is using my liquid eyeliner. I don't use that all the time, but when I want that drastic look on my eyes, I will use it to make that eye uh, cat wing. Uh, this is another great find from Ulta Beauty. You probably can get this product anywhere, but again, like I stated before, 80% of my products do come from Ulta Beauty. And I just love it because it goes smooth just like if you were using a pencil or a marker. So with this eyeliner guys, I do not spend a lot of money on my eyeliners. I will get my eyeliners from either Target, uh, Walmart, or the Dollar Tree. You just need something that's going to give you that little uh, color at the end of your eyes. 
Now this next product is the primer for your lashes. I am not saying I don't love wearing lashes. I read on it that wearing lashes as you get older can um, lower your lids and I am getting older so that is something that I do not want to prevent for me as I get older in age. So using this primer and this um, mascara will help bring out my lashes. It's concealer time. This is the concealer that I am using to help um, hide the dark spots up under my eyes and I do love using a brush. It helps blend it in smoothly up under my eyes. All right, so this is the concealer that I'm using. I'm going to shot a shade lighter. I do go on my forehead and up under my eyes and I'm going back with the same brush that I used with the first concealer. I do not use foundation because the concealer is enough for me on my face. So once I blend this in, it will look as if I do have on a foundation. Okay, so this is the setting um, powder that I do use, another great crime find from Ulta Beauty. I make sure that I do add it on the sections of where I place my concealer. Now, I don't let it sit on my face that long. Probably the longest would be a minute or two. <laughs> I have a girlfriend, she lets her sit for 10 minutes. She call it baking. I really don't need it to bake. Um, but I do let it sit while I am putting on my um, bronzer. All right, so this fine um, is from Ulta Beauty. Um, you will see that I'm using the number three, which um, focuses on my forehead, my chin, and my cheek. You can also use the letter C, which only focus on your cheek and your chin. And then what I'm going to do is follow up with going with my nose. I want to contour that as well. Now what I'm about to do is to use my big fan to brush off of the powder that did not sit on my face. So the next step is my highlighter palette. I purchased this from Sephora. Um, it has all the colors that I need and I love this red. I don't use blush, but I use my highlighter to highlight my cheeks. And then I'm gonna go back in and use the gold to highlight um, the nose and the forehead and again, my cheeks. So I'm going back to my natural palette and I'm going to use a dark color to bring out um, the uh, darkness at the bottom of my eyes. And so now I'm about to use the lip primer. I purchased this primer from Mary Kay. I love this primer. It helps smooth on your lipstick so you won't have any creases. Now this lipstick is from MAC. Um, I, if it's still available, I will most definitely link this at the bottom for you. All right, so the last and final step is the Ulta um, finishing spray. Using this will help everything set in place. And I hope that you found something that was very interesting. Um, again, thank you guys for watching. You have yourself a beautiful day. Merry Christmas. Happy New Year. Bye-bye.